Yo! Video games. What up dudes, Matt here from Yo! Video Games. While you can expect lots of in-depth coverage of Street Fighter V on the main channel, I thought I would share with you some of my thoughts and impressions of the title from a much more casual player's perspective. Street Fighter V is once again being developed by Dimps, and right from the get-go it is obvious. While the player models do look great, the overall aesthetic and especially the backgrounds all scream Street Fighter 4. Graphically, the title has come a long way from its December announcement and I expect it to keep improving by launch. That being said, this is definitely not a powerhouse in graphics the same way MKX was last year. As for how it feels, I think you can use Street Fighter 4 as a base. One noticeable thing is the default character speed is very slow. Characters almost seem to walk as if they were as old as Bison now looks. This leads to a lot of dashing and short hopping, which of course only works against people like me fighting against people like Max. The roster is certainly interesting to say the least. Ryu, Chun, Bison, and Kami all feel incredibly safe, but Nash and Birdie are pretty out of left field. It almost feel like they were chosen because they didn't make it into part 4. Nash is no longer a charge character and they seem to compensate this by giving his sonic boom 9,000 frames of startup animation. Bison no longer has a regular Psycho Crusher and Kami's Spin Knuckle is now a V skill. What are V skills? They are special moves unique to each character performed by pressing both mediums as there is no longer a focus attack. Some of them are just remapped old moves like Kami, and some like Ryu allow him to parry a single hit. Besides V skills there is also the new V meter above your EX gauge. This allows you to enter what is basically instinct mode and behave similarly. There is also V counters which can use up your V meter and strangely enough the counters are different for each character. This I don't personally like. Why make it back in all three punches for one character and back in all three kicks for another if the result is going to be the same, which is an alpha counter more or less, then I'm not seeing why it needs to be different among each character, unless there is something to it that I missed. As a casual player, I like the V-meter and skill system as it is easy to understand and can make matches more exciting when you buff up your character for a small period. It is not like X-Factor which could turn the whole round around, thankfully. I like some of the costume changes for Kami and Bison, but at the same time feel the roster as a whole feels entirely too safe at the moment. No new characters at all so far is odd, and I really don't like the fact that Ryu and Chun-Li are not aged at all. These aren't just logos on a box of crackers. You can give a lot of personality to your characters and story by letting them age like Bison. Birdie is just... Well, take it or leave it, I guess. He is animated beautifully, but also intentionally gross and disgusting. I'm not much of a fan of Fat Birdie, only because I don't see the point. Going forward, I hope more is done to speed up the game, and as crazy as it may sound, I would love some more mobility mechanics. As it is now, I fear that Street Fighter V may turn into a variation of 4, a game that becomes reliant on pokes and footsies. Even as a casual player, that is not something I want to see at all. Color me cautiously optimistic, but Street Fighter V still has a long way to go. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you on the channel. Later, dudes!